and hopefully put the spirit of Okiko to rest. I don't think it worked. So I'm just gonna go on a hunt here. <laughs> Yo, right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Senses Midnight. Now, this right here is the first of an anthology plan follow up to Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story. Which you guys might recall, we actually checked on the channel here in the past. That was primarily a 2.5D side scrolling game. This is going to be different. It's going to be going back to the old school Resident Evil, Fatal Frame, Silent Hill tank control system. So, definitely a big change, but it's still going to undertake the same horror cyberpunk elements from that game. And on top of it all, I just really enjoy the developer's stance on games. They faced a lot of backlash when Cyberpunk Ghost Story was being developed and came out because of the character, the main character, how she looked, you know? Oh, she looks too good for the current year. Can you please not make her so attractive? Oh, oh. And the fellas were like, no, that's okay. You know, if you don't like the game or you don't like the character looks, just don't play the game or better yet, go make your own game. <laughs> instead of having us change the game the way you want us to make it, just go make your own game instead. So, base developer, absolutely. Tamashi,生きている人が信じている間だけ存在するという人もいる。でも、魂は人々が信じることで力を得ているのだろうか。人々に忘れ去られると、魂も永遠に消え去ってしまうのか。それとも。right into it already, huh? So very minimal use, apparently, of uh, UI here, which I'm a big, big fan of. <laughs> Kaho? I I'm okay. The gap I squeezed through just collapsed. I won't be able to get out of the park this way. Oh, there should be another exit on the west side of the park. It's actually closer to the midnight door. It should be. I think it's unlocked? Even if it's not, it's actually a gate. It's an actual gate. You can just find a way out there easier than here. Maybe head there first and confirm an exit, exit strategy just in case. Good idea. Go past the playground and follow the walkway south. Be careful, too. Security may have been alerted by the noise you just made. Alright. Let's get to it here. It's apparently a shiny here already. Hey guys, check this out. Cool! Let's go to those old school gacha tokens. Some shops still use them in the old shopping districts. You should grab it. May, may bring you good luck. Good idea. Just remember, your backpack's really small and basically useless. You have pretty limited space to hold things. Yeah, I can usually fit four items inside. Oh, I like how the game's basically just poking fun at the limited inventory system of these old school games. I found a map of the park. The interference in the city is making my PDA's GPS unable to scan it for reference. I have to check it out here when I'm not sure where to go. Interesting. Now, oh, is this a condom machine or what? Sweet, a gotcha machine. What's in it? Looks like one of the creepy ones. Looks like swimsuits. Think they've been worn already? Ghostly apparitions. Listen carefully for a strange noise given off only by the spirits too weak to walk or plane. Perhaps you may even hear the faint whisper alerting you to their presence. Okay, I upped the volume a little bit just, just in case. Just in case. Uh, let's see. Can't say I hear that. I kind of heard like a little bit of a moan, but I could just be imagining things. But luckily, I searched and we found one at least, so. Kaho, look closer at that photo. Check the photos tab on your PDA. So that proves that we're right. This place is haunted. So we got enough proof. It's time for us to leave, guys. Why hang out any longer? <laughs> A Koa Shinbun, someone who else reads someone else reads it here? It's my favorite magazine. It's my favorite horror and occult themed tabloid too. 
But calling it a tabloid is unfair, as all the stories of Din are 100% factual. Um, actually, it's all factual. Maybe we should send our findings in. We might get famous, Kyle. 82 years ago, the bustling it town of Ikabukuro was a bit more slow-paced and mysterious at this time. You would be forgiven for thinking of Ikaburo as a train stop on the way to a much more exciting Shinjuku or Akebara. But before Ikabukuro grew into what we see it as today, it was gripped by a dark secret that would take decades to unravel. Even today, some parts of Ikabukuro remain unexplored, as if intentionally forgotten or sanctioned off by the gods themselves. Perhaps the older among you remember the legend. Did you ever hear her call? Have you ever felt your skin go cold as a corpse at the side of the centipede of the night? Have you visited the midnight door? There's another shiny off to the left over there and one all the way to the back. So this could be more gotcha coins. And there's another maybe magazine right there. Pretty interesting little free roam camera. It does definitely use the fixed angles on occasion, but it also kind of rotates a bit with you. Another Kowashimbun. In the year 2003, several teenagers hanging out in the Ikabukuro walking park noticed the door to the nearby public toilet was sealed shut. Forcing the door open, they found the body of a young woman who had recently hung herself inside. However, her badly decomposed body was further damaged by both the jolt from the forcing the door open, but also an infestation of centipede that had begun to eating away at the corpse, causing her head and spinal column to be pulled from the body. Ah! The teenagers took pictures and posted them online, forum which quickly dubbed her Ikuku. Oki, o Okiku. Oddly, though, all the photos taken display at the time, the teams estimated that they opened the door exactly 12 a.m. Over the following four days, all six of the teens who opened the door disappeared, and each of their homes experienced extreme centipede infestations. Speaking of um, centipedes, huh? That's quite comforting. Is this the uh, midnight door? It's basically a door to uh, literally nothing. I found it, guys. Good, but you should focus on finding the exit first. Yeah, Kaho, always have an exit plan. Disaster follows the unprepared. Yeah, you mean like that creepy ass figure that showed up behind me there momentarily? All right. Amazing run animation. <laughs> I can't look away from it, man. A new hollow BBS? It's surprising to see one in, in a park like this. Yeah, they're pretty rare on campus, too. Ikebukuro City Council must be really serious about turning a spark around. What's on the board? A bunch of missing person notices, even a foreigner? Looks like she's a Hong Konger. You guys think it's the curse? I just track with the legend. Hmm. I hear a noise here. Okay, this, now I hear something for a fact. And if I haven't find a ghost this time, I'm going to be really upset because I finally heard something. You guys hearing this, right? I'm not the only one? Nothing? Well, I can take a picture of this. Oh. Hey, there's some numbers written here next to a padlock. Okay. No, no, you alright, this time you guys saw it, right? There was literally legs here. I did hear like some moaning in the background too. Like not not that variety, just like spooky. Ooh. Uh-huh. Oh, that's not good. That was not pleasant. Well, I got the exit gate. See any kind of security system nearby? Uh, yeah, I see something off here to the left. Go to the midnight door. Okay. Well, let me just check this out here really quickly. Security pad. Go to the ritual. We can worry about the gate afterwards. Oh, first let's find the exit. Now let's go back to the midnight door. Okay, you guys just gotta make up your mind here. I guess technically I did find the exit, so that was good enough for it, but... Even so. Oh, jeez. This just scared the 
piss out of me. <laughs> That's how it was in there, just hanging out, staring at me, but it's just like a sticker of some kind, a decal of some kind, who knows. Alright, let's go to the midnight door. And then I guess we'll check out that shiny thing afterwards. Looks to be quite invite. Looks to be quite inviting. You don't seem to be like the other ghost. You seem to be like the thing that showed up behind me. Not sure if I'm crazy about that one, you know? The midnight door. All ready to be opened up. Ned Diver, I do not open that door. What the? Who is this? How did you get into her chat group? Abasan, get rid of him. I already tried. The kick button's grayed out. I'm trying to help you people. Do not open that door no matter what. I'll be there soon. Whatever, creep. Kaho, just go ahead and it's probably a fake anyway. It's probably just a weirdo that stares at you in the class. Okay, Josh doing a ritual now. Damn it, you idiots. <laughs> Oh, that was a figure back there, just that FYI. The Norma doesn't even nudge anymore. Guess we're not getting any proof tonight. Probably not. Well, I guess you may as well find a way to open the gate and get out of here. I'm sure you can find something somewhere in the park. Okay, it's gone now. That girl was uh, once again standing back there when we moved the camera to apparently do a selfie. I'm a run. <laughs> I think we should hang out there. Yeah, I already got it. It's 4608. Right? It's the only code we've seen so far. If it's not that, then you know you could go fuck yourself because it's 4608. Or. Let's go. Game saved. I just saw, heard. Well, what is it? Everything okay? Never mind. I'm on my way to the rest area. I mean, do I really want to go go there? You need to go to the shrine at the top of the hill. It's just ahead of you. Go there now. Honey. What? Why? Who are you? Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, please, move your legs faster! Oh! Oh, mom. Oh! <laughs> Circle around it! I mean, should, should I keep going up? Yeah, I guess I should. I wanted to go check out the restroom we just saw right there, though. I wonder if that's connected to that story that we read about. Oh! Oh, I just, it just, <laughs> it just made sense to me. That's the spirit of the girl from the magazine. She hung herself, and then when they forced the door open, it snapped her spine off like a centipede. Yeah. I try to warn you, but to stop from opening the door, what you can do now is stay safe and avoid her. Get the shrine at the top of the hill first. I'll be there soon. All right, fine. I'll, I'll get there. Okay. Well, at least we're putting two and two together now. Well. 
I have no clue what this is. Is this a lighter or what? Check this out, guys. An... Are you going to speak now or no? no? Check this out, guys. An ancient Makatama. I can almost feel the energy surrounding it. Is that made of jade? It reminds me of the necklace my mother gave me. Amazing. It should carry... You should carry a witcher just in case. They're set to protect you from dark energy. We can use it to repel spirits. Hey Shiho, what's up? I think you're right about the Magatama. Well, yeah, why else would try and sell blessed Magatamas for protection? If you find any more, you should pick them up. I'm gonna say a prayer? The Kami might protect you if you do. Yeah, it's been long overdue since I visited a shrine. Go to the top of the shrine, I'll be there soon. I don't see him. That uh, Coomer looking spirit sore on. You need to hide quick. What? Hide behind something and hold your breath now. Deadly premonition. They're all awake now. And know that you are in the park. You need to be a lot more careful from here on on. I've uploaded some information that will help your notes... That will help you to your notes tab for you. Read them carefully. How do you know all of this? Why are you helping me? Like I said, I've been in the same position as you are now. I just want to help people like you. Like me. Spirit chasing you. Look out for moonlight mods. Hide in these spots. Yep. Left and right. Yep. Now, I still want to go check out that restroom if I get the chance to here. Yes. But, do I have to lose this scumbag first? Or are we good? I guess someone could chase me. The ladies' restroom looks open. Gotta go? Don't. You'll make it smell worse. <laughs> oh, cute. It looks like part four of eight for the Kowa Shinbo, and I wonder if I'll find all the issues here. By 2035, 44 people had mysteriously disappeared in the same way, all linked to having performed the ritual at what had become named the Ikabokura Midnight Door. When two small children went missing in the same way in 2036, the Toshima City Council closed and condemned, closed and condemned the park. Leaked internal messages from the council women acknowledged the disappearance of the primary reason for the park closing. And the documents also made mention of a secret exorcism to be held in the coming week. Four days after the scheduled exorcism, three members of the city council believed to be at their exorcism had disappeared, and a priest who performed the ritual was found dead in an apparent suicide by hanging. It is rumored that the temple had to be treated for an infestation, but this is not confirmed. The original bathroom in which Okiku's body was found was demolished immediately after the supposed exorcism. However, each crew that was hired to complete the demolition would mysteriously fall ill or have family emergencies, so the door itself and front wall still remain in the park. A shrine was built on the overlook in an attempt to honor the souls of those who have gone missing and hopefully put the spirit of Okiko to rest. I don't think it worked. So I'm just gonna go on a hunt here. I go a hunt here and say it didn't work. That might be the kids that we just read about. Hey guys, I think I, I think I should check the sink. Yeah, why not? It seems that the water's been turned off. If you find the access pipes, I can probably walk you through turning it back on. Good idea, I'll keep an eye out. So we might have to turn it back on. Um, it seems like there's another Magatama. Where that ghost was at. I mean, do I want to risk it though is the problem? Oh, oh, shiny here. Wrench? Hey, we got a wrench. Still there? 
We aren't going anywhere to Kaho, what's up? I think there's a different spirit here. I'm not quite afraid of it. I think it's just sad. It's like I can feel it's loneliness. Tore no Hanako-san, her story is pretty messed up, but to think it happened in the same park as Okiko crazy. I thought she could travel in any bathroom in Japan. How else could we have her at our middle school too? Kikuki-san, I sometimes worry about you. What? Why? The seven wonders of Hanayama Middle School were real. Kaho and I spent years studying them. Guys, can we argue about this later? Still trying to think of a way to appease Hanako-san? Doesn't she always want to play? I don't have an item for play, I don't think. Yeah, there she is. So not, not a bad one, maybe. Yeah, there she is. Well, for the... Does that mean I shouldn't go back there anymore? Or? Okay. Seems to be a pat back here. Oh no, but we're not done here at the sink thing, right? I think that's how we probably get that thing working, but now that spirit's in there. It's probably the valves for the bathrooms and water fountains. Probably nothing of interest for me here. The pipes are rusty. Take a picture of this. Hey guys, isn't that Akomanta? Can you refresh me to legend here? Yeah, I'll throw an entry up in your notes. You should really read it carefully, Kaho. Kaho, how could you forget about the Akomanta on the fourth floor? We spent a week investigating it back in elementary school. I mean, this one might have to be tied with this puzzle. Of the many urban legends that typically appear in the school's list of seven wonders, the most consistent deadly is the... It's arguably the Akamanto. Depicted as either a very handsome man or a masked creature, the spirit always wears a red cloak or cape. Akamanto stalks the halls of the school, beckoning victims to a bathroom stall. Once inside the stall, Akamanto will then peek at you from the door, either by looming over it or forcing it open slightly and ask you a simple question. Would you like red paper or blue paper? Or sometimes would you like a red cloak or a blue cloak? We know what you're thinking, and yes, Akamanto predates the movie by several decades, and by some accounts over a century. There are even dubious reports of a f similar spirit from the Meiji era. Back on topic, what are the results of your answer and what you could do if the Akamanto comes for you? Answering red paper or cloak will always result in death, typically by the spirit pulling out a blade and cutting your throat, the red alluding to the blood coating your body. Oh, good. Answering blue paper or cloak will also always result in death, typically by strangulation, the blue calling the blue color of your skin after... Yeah, true. The possible correct answer, though it seems to be 50-50 shot, is to answer, I would like the white paper or cloak, please. As a result, seems to be either being given the bathroom tissue or clean clod and being left alone from there. However, a Kanto region variation of the legend suggests that after you believe you are safe, Akamanto will scare you so badly that your hair and skin turn white as a sheet, sometimes even scaring you to death. The specific origin of Akamanto is still unknown, though stories of mass murderers prowling the night in red cloaks are not exactly unbelievable. Let's, uh, use? Okay, Ollie, I found the water pipes and got a wrench. What should I do? Great. Based on what I'm seeing, you will need to release pressure on the right valves to make sure that the pipes don't burst. Won't that make some pretty loud noise? If she does it correctly, not really, no. Kaho, just even out the pressure on the meters. Only one of them should be at 100%, but any at three should work. She's doomed. Hush, I've got this handled. Okay, I think I got it. Oh god. <laughs> I don't think this does any. This isn't a fatal frame where you, you take a picture of him and you hurt him, I don't think. Okay, so what did this accomplish? The water's running? What about it? Well, we've, um. We've gotten things done. But, I'm out of time, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this look at the Vasensis Midnight. It's still very early on to tell. I like the overall feel of it. It definitely is jank. This is like a 
throwback to the PS2 jankness. It even kind of looks like it, the textures and everything, too. So it's definitely a, a really good homage or love layer to those games for a fact. Down to the controls. So, I mean, at least the environment, the scene, the setting is pretty damn well on point. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All the information for this will be down below in case you want to pick it up for yourselves. If you'd like to see more from me, let me know in the comments. If there's enough interest, maybe we get around to it. If not, you know, I just wanted to bring it to your attention at the very least. Especially if you enjoyed the first game in the series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.